Hello. It's that joyous time of year again. Early December. But something's rotten in the North Pole. And we have to do something about it. All right, so here's what we're doing, China. Because I'm sick of seeing It's a Wonderful Life Everywhere and a uh, Christmas story. Is we that need... the leg lamp one? Yes. What is it? It's a leg! But what is it? Okay, yeah. That's... Good movies, but... Played out. Played out. Played out indeed. They do a 24-hour marathon of a Christmas story, the leg lamp one, every year. And it's a wonderful life. <laughs> when I was a kid, snapping my snap bracelets, flipping open my trapper keepers, whatever I was doing, on a TV somewhere, I'd always hear, Teacher says, every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. That's right. That's right. And a boy, Clarence. And it isn't just leg lamps and angel wings. I'm getting sick of the radioactive reindeer noses. Bad parenting. <laughs> electricity hazards. Poor botany skills. I've killed it. Yes, I know. Who am I to judge? These movies are tradition. Shame on me. How dare you! I'm not saying they're bad movies, a lot of them, anyway. But don't you think there's gotta be some forgotten Christmas movies out there buried by all this tradition? Or maybe movies that I just haven't gotten around to seeing. I'm a busy guy. My car broke down. My dog ate it. So, as the old saying goes, if you want something done right, make your wife do it with you. I've compiled a long list of potential replacements for holiday movies. So I made a list from you, from Twitter, from Reddit, from comments on a video I made on my second channel. I also popped a Google and found a bunch of lists. Ugh, internet lists, am I right? Self-deprecation! You sit on a throne of lies. Now a couple of movies that many of you mentioned didn't make the list. Die Hard and The Muppet Christmas Carol. I think they're great, but they're already classics, aren't they? So... Yippee ki yay, mother- Fozzie. And there's a bunch of others that didn't make the list for the same reason. Or they weren't Christmassy enough, or too... nude? Or my wife didn't want to watch any more movies. But please, feel free to angrily comment about our stupid movie choices and how dumb we are for not watching the movie you want us to. You should always insult people to strengthen your argument. Bad advice. But first, what do you think makes a good Christmas movie? Well, it should be set at Christmas. Probably should have some snow. They have, like, a feel. Mm -hmm. Feels cozy. Yeah, of course it's a matter of opinion. I think Die Hard's a Christmas movie. It's not very cozy. Now I have a machine gun. Oh, oh, oh. Except for the part where Carl Winslow's buying Twinkies. That's wholesome as fuzzy. So with that in mind, let's make a list of what makes a Christmas movie. Number one, whatever the hell we think is good. This is our video. Na 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 na. So our first movie happens to actually be a cozy, traditional, family-friendly celebration of Yuletide cheer. A very Harold and Kumar Christmas. <laughs> no, 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 that's not right. It's actually a very Harold and Kumar 3D Christmas. Anyway, what are your hopes and dreams for this movie? That it's over before I want to go to bed. It's gonna be raunchy, but hopefully it has some heart. And I hope it has a lot of uh, Neil Patrick Harris. Actually, not a lot, a tasteful Neil Patrick Harris. A smattering? A smattering of Neil, if you will. Mm -hmm. And then we watched it. Nope. That was the worst movie. Nope. It's not the one. No. Nope. Don't watch it. At least don't watch it over the influence. Next movie. All right, so we're watching The Apartment. 1960 film directed by Billy Wilder. Thank you, Wikipedia, by the way. He did Sunset Boulevard, I'm Like It Hot, Seven Year Itch, a movie called One, Two, Three, which I thought was hilarious and disturbing and awesome. Me too. I've seen it. You sit on a throne of lies. With this movie, he became the first person to win an Oscar for Best Producer, Best Writer, and Best Director. Best Producer would be Best Picture. Has anyone done that since? I don't know. Interesting. I'll get that for this video, probably. They're gonna make it so that YouTube videos can be... Best Picture. Wow. Yeah. I expect it to be, like, dark comedy. I'm very excited. Are you excited at all? <laughs> Well, this should be fun. The average New Yorker between the ages of 20 and 50 has two and a half colds a year. That makes me feel just terrible. To make the figures come out even, if I have no colds a year, some poor slob must have five colds a year. Yeah, it's me. We did it. We watched the whole movie. Wait. You don't want to be crinkling that paper the whole time we talk? Mm-mm. Okay. Yeah. I liked it. I liked it. I don't think it should be Christmas classic. I agree. This much to do with Christmas? It didn't really leave me feeling that good. I felt pretty good at the very end. I think the whole movie is a commentary on terrible people that make up the business world. Mm -hmm. And... Men? Men. Move on. Try again. Okay. Okay. Jingle all the way. Yay! The man who directed Problem Child 2, The Flintstones, Beethoven, two Scooby-Doo movies. All winners. Some people on Twitter, YouTube, and a friend of mine said they like Jingle All The Way. I've avoided this movie for a long time because I thought it looked kind of dumb. So, let's give Jingle All The Way a try. Oh, these cookies! I gotta get the registry from Les. 
Put that cookie down! No! We watched it. No, it didn't take us all night long. <laughs> no. Well, you fell asleep. You had to finish it today. We should do reenactments of us watching these movies. Let's reenact us watching it right now. Yes. That's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh-huh. Doing things Christmassy style. Oh, uh, I bet he'll be back. What? What is happening? Definitely more Christmassy of a movie. I enjoyed it. I had a really good time. I thought Phil Hartman was hilarious. Sinbad was hilarious. Better than I thought it would be. I would say it's underrated because it's really, really poorly rated. I think it deserves to a barely poor rating. Right. Warning, teeny tiny spoiler coming up. So if you don't want to hear it, you can skip ahead 15 seconds or go, fa la 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 la. Okay, let's do it. To get into spoiler territory. In the end, he's supposed to be some kind of good father because he became Turbo Man, but it's just all an accident. He's still a terrible father. He's trying to make up breaking all his promises to his kid by getting his kid a toy <laughs> instead of becoming a better dad. I do think it's a commentary on extreme consumerism, like Black Friday craziness, but in some ways it kind of embraces it. Now let's watch another one later. Wanna watch a movie? No? Nope. All right, we're going into this with the right mindset then. <laughs> Meet Me in St. Louis, a 19 <laughs> musical starring Judy Garland, directed by uh, Minnelli. Liza Minnelli? No, but Liza Minnelli's husband, Judy Garland's father. Liza Minnelli's father, Judy Garland's husband. Sorry, I was eating too many veggie straws. This was on a lot of lists of people's favorite. You excited? I really just want to read my book. Is your book the movie Meet Me in St. Louis? Decidedly not. I'm going to let John Truett kiss me tonight. Mr. Smith. Nice girls don't let men kiss them until after they're engaged. Men don't want the bloom rubbed off. Personally, I think I have too much bloom. That was what I was looking for. Really? This whole time. Hilarious. Some demented so... little kids, demented little girls. In oh, that they were so good. She says, <laughs> I'm going to take all my dolls, even the dead ones. <laughs> Taking all my dolls, the dead ones too. I have yourself... A Merry Little Christmas from this from movie, this movie. and it was it sung by Judy Garland who is an American treasure Have yourself a merry little Christmas. This was good. This is a really good movie and I can see why a lot of people say that it should be your favorite Christmas movie. I um I do think I was like you're gonna butt. I'm gonna butt. Are you butting? I'm gonna butt, yes. I was a little bit disappointed that like the main conflict was just sort of am I gonna get the guy? You know? But I guess that's most movies in the 40s and 50s. I like It's a Wonderful Life better. What? Well, I don't. Well, you don't remember It's a Wonderful Life. Well, I... The entire purpose of this is to replace It's a Wonderful Life and A Christmas Story and because I think they're everywhere. And have done. I don't think this replaces it. I'm wiping my hands. Oh. Oh, I guess we're done. I didn't... Yeah. Mm. Well, the goal isn't actually to replace these movies. It's to find overlooked or forgotten classics. Craig from the past is real dumb. Next movie. This was on a few lists. The Holiday. Cameron Diaz. Kate Winslet. Jack Block. Judd Lau. Um, so it's gonna be a rom-com. Feeling whelmed about the whole process. And it could be a decent rom-com. One can hope. Do you know the plot at all? Two women around Christmas time, they wanted to like get out of their own space. They swap houses and then they meet their loves, possibly. We're gonna find out. Oh, we are? Ooh. Sweet dreams. Deal. I loved it. Yeah. The beginning, eh, it, it takes a while, but it genuinely surprised me. Hilarious in parts. I thought it was pretty good. I loved it. I think we found our new Christmas classic. No. I would watch no. this every year. <laughs> we did it. Sure. What I didn't love, and you have Cameron Diaz trying to act like a character. <laughs> I have to deliver my lines now. <laughs> <laughs> See? So you have problems with this movie too. I haven't too. cried since I was 15. So you have- I have problem with this Just, movie. Just, okay. One Cameron Diaz shaped problem. As rom-coms go, it was, it was a pretty good one. Christmas classic, no. Let's watch it again. Okay. Sweet. Arthur Christmas. Rated pretty highly, animated. I'd never heard of it. I've never heard of it. The problem is the name. It sounds like the cartoon character Arthur. Could be Arthur movie starring Dudley Moore. He's an alcoholic rich guy. If you look at it on the screen, right next to Arthur Christmas is Arthur's Perfect Christmas. Yeah, let's watch that. We have to watch this. Oh, okay. Arthur was a great show. After my time. It's smack dab in the middle of my time. 
People need to say smack to have more. <laughs> I'm kind of excited about it. I think it's going to be pretty good. I feel pretty good about it. Really? Sure. Why not? I didn't think you'd want me to be negative again. So I... <laughs> I want you to be honest. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't want to watch any more movies. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I'm a bad husband. We're going to have to go on a movie hiatus after, after all this. Yeah, you are. Yeah. A real woman could stop you from drinking. It has to be a real big woman. Will you take my hand? That would leave you with one. I loved it. I loved it too. Yeah. There were times that I was a little distracted because of somebody. Fuck me. This fits the bill perfectly. Uh, Someone does not have the Christmas spirit. Here. Oh. Go down there. Me again? Yeah. Humbug. Is this not a well-known movie or is it just that we don't know it? Oh! <laughs> I'd never heard of it. I've never heard anyone talk about it or mention it. Was it released in theaters? Yes. And it made money 2011. Huh. But no. then again, I'm not wandering around talking about children's Christmas movies. If we're the only, the last people to ever hear about it, then you can just disregard this conversation. But I thought this was a great movie. We did it! Okay, TV executives. <clears throat> Arthur Christmas is a wonderful modern take on the Santa Claus story, which is a totally true story, kids. Explaining how, with the help of technology, Santa can actually deliver presents to two billion kids across the world in one night. And it's an effective coming-of-age tale about innocent, clumsy young Arthur stumbling his way, no, not that Arthur, to destiny. A true masterpiece. My wife agrees. Did we find a masterpiece? And why was it Arthur Christmas? I think that masterpiece might be a little bit too strong a word. Hmm. It was really, really good movie. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it ticked all the boxes for me. Mm. I feel like out of the ones that we watched, the one that comes closest probably Arthur meet, Christmas. Meet me in St. Louis. Okay. My favorite Christmas classic is the Santa Claus. Uh -huh. Sorry. And I think that that'll probably continue to be the one that I want to go back to year after year. So this experiment was a waste of time. No. No. All right, it's a fact that it's my opinion that we found a new masterpiece. Or at least a movie that deserves to be shown on TV at least once in the United States, and according to TVGuide.com, it, it isn't being shown at all. There were a number of other movies we didn't get to on my list. Here they are. I highly recommend Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas, Trading Places, and I kind of recommend The Ref and Tokyo Godfathers, depending on what you're into. I plan to watch all the rest eventually, but right now, I'm going to eat this cookie over here. Put that cookie down! Now! Instead, I will thank Audible for sponsoring this video. If you want a free book and a free 30-day trial, just go to audible.com slash wheezywaiter or text wheezywaiter to 500, 500 If you're a member, you get a credit every month for any book. But what if I don't listen to a book in a month, Greg? Well, unused credits roll over to the next month, so heh. And if you don't like a book, you can exchange it. And members get two free credits for Audible Originals every month. Audio titles created by celebrated storytellers only on Audible. And for a limited time, get three months of Audible for just $6.95 a month. That's more than half off the regular price. They got a huge selection of books, so you probably find what you want, but here's a suggestion. Forget all those Scrooge movies, why not go right to the source? Listen to Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, narrated by Patrick Stewart, as it was meant to be told. That's what Charles Dickens said in his will, false story. Just go to audible.com slash wheezywaiter or text wheezywaiter to 500, 500 to get a free book and a free 30-day trial. Link in the description. Colloquially referred to as the doobly-doo. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, click thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, click subscribe. If you want to lock your car doors, click your clicker thing. You should probably have done that already. I do a secret daily vlog every weekday over on Patreon. I'll link that there. Previous video is all about how we quit the internet for a month and YouTube thinks you'll like this video. And I like you. Maybe. I probably don't know you. I'm still on screen.